Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, is going to be a little bit different. Um, Vegas is basically like a massive theme park in some respects with theme hotels and unique architecture. So, I already have a Las Vegas um, playlist. So, I'm going to kind of incorporate some Vegas rumors in here with different hotels, what's coming, what could be demolished, new rides, new attractions. Um, and you guys, I'm going to incorporate some of that into the channel. And you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this, I'll continue to do it. If not, um, I'll still do it, but I'll, I'll do it much less than I would if you guys really like it. So today in this video, I'm going to start off with a, a rumor that, uh, that's been going on for a few months. And it's really starting to pick up steam and could be announced by the end of this month. So let's go ahead and break down this Vegas rumor right now. As you may have I already guessed from this little video from the uh, Jet Jets and Jacksons over here that I got. Um, yes, this rumor does involve the Luxor, and if you may have guessed from the title, Excalibur as well, involves the potential demolition of these two properties. What? Demolition, you say? Yes. Demolition of the Luxor and Excalibur has apparently been in the talks and talks for five years. That's right. Five years, such a long time. But apparently because of contract negotiations that uh, MGM, which owns the both properties, uh, could not demolish them. But apparently the pandemic has paved the way for potential demolition and MGM could announce it before the end of the, uh, end of the year, which means this month. <clears throat> That's right, MGM can announce the demolition of uh, X Caliber and Luxor this month. And let's get into what will be replacing it as well. Yes, yeah, so replacing it will be parking. That's right, a parking lot. Not for them. Um, obviously, a parking lot will make more money than a dirt lot. And uh, the massive brand new Allegiant Stadium is right next door. And Manalay Bay, Excalibur, New York, New York. All those MGM properties as well as Park MGM all kind of use their parking garages. They lease out their parking garages to Allegiant Stadium. Or they charge, they they may not lease it out to Allegiant Stadium, but they allow people to park there for football games or concerts to the stadium. And charge people $30 a car to park there. They close off the street and they and they allow people to walk across the bridge, which is really awesome. And even the Luxor, I was in there actually last weekend, um, or over the Thanksgiving break, and, and they even have a dedicated like pedestrian walkway. Uh, it says to Legion Stadium with some escalators, so it's like a, a thing. It's a, an actual thing there. I don't know if that's new or not, but I haven't seen that before. Um, that set of escalators and definitely not the sign saying to Legion Stadium. But. I'm very concerned about this. I mean, in the rumor, uh, which I've heard from, again, not leaving Las Vegas, a, a very popular and very um, great insider, uh, has some good inside info, is a great YouTuber. Go to, go check out his channel. Um, I'll leave it in the link below so you can check out. He does Vegas videos all the time, all Vegas stuff. If you like Vegas stuff, different things, even local things, whole has videos for that. And he does live streams on the strip like daily, which is awesome. Fantastic Vegas YouTuber. Definitely check him out. That is not leaving Las Vegas. And he has some really cool merch as well. But I heard from him. And most recent, most recently, as in today, Vital Vegas. Vital Vegas, which also um, has some good insight. I mean, they got the, hit the nail right on the head when the Vegas casinos would open. The date that Governor Sisolak, uh, June 25th, announced that they would they reopen. Um, they hit the nail on the head when Mass would come back to the casinos and Resorts World and Fountain Blue and all that good stuff. Um, they're really good with rumors as well. The The owner, his name is Scott, um, has some very good Vegas connections, so he's really in the know. Um, so definitely go check out Vital Vegas for more Vegas information as well. But yeah. This is very interesting as they just actually, they had an old article about the Luxor and uh, Excalibur being demolished. And it's part of the rumor mill. They just updated it today. That's right, December 1st. They updated that previous article saying MGM is talking about it again. And that's when they added it could be announced by the end of the year. 
way, meaning this month and could uh, oh, be used, one or both of the sides will be used as a Legion Stadium parking until, of course, a new proposal is uh, built there, either from MGM or somebody else. Uh, which is another video because MGM is selling off a lot of their hotels and property. Uh, again, another video if you guys are interested in kind of this Vegas news as well. But very, very interesting. Um, I I want to share some of my thoughts on it. I don't like it. Um, actually, I for the first time, I over the Thanksgiving break when I was in Vegas, I visited Resorts World and Resorts World. Uh, Originally, as originally planned, it was an Asian-themed casino. Still kind of is. Res Resorts World is an Asian company. Um, fun fact, Resorts World actually owns um, Universal Studios Singapore. Universal just does a licensing deal with them. But they actually own the theme park itself. Um, and it's part of Re Resorts World Sentai um, over there in, in Singapore, which is, again, fun fact. So Resorts World is, is the first, uh, or I think they may have something in Boston, but... This is their first property in the West Coast, the West, uh, in Vegas, and it's their largest property in the United States. And it was supposed to be very Asian themed. It was supposed to the original iteration included a, a pan exhibit, and it included um, Chinese lanterns, and it was very. You can tell it was an Asian themed resort then. The second iteration came back and the budgeted down version, and it stripped all thematic elements off of the property. And if you own it now, it just looks like a generic hotel, but not even not even as nice as Cosmopolitan or Aria or Winter Encore, which are also just generic ultra luxury hotels. Um, the only Asian things, Asian themed things you can see in the resorts world are the escalators have red hand railings because obviously red is very. Um, China, the Chinese, that's their, that's their color, you know, dragons and everything. But you'd never know that unless you didn't know, knew it was an Asian hotel in, in the first place. In the food air, food court, there's only about two restaurants out of like the five or six total restaurants that are even Asian themed. It's just not a good job at, of having any Asian representation or any theme at all. And with the demolition, the, poten the potential demolition of Luxor and Excalibur, that would de-theme Vegas even more. And you're not going to attract high rollers from Asia or from anywhere uh, to Vegas when they can go to Macau for themed hotels and better experiences if you de-theme Vegas. And you're also not going to attract extra money with the families, right? If you attract more families, um, like theme parks do, the families typically spend more stuff, more money on things. And the typical win-win scenario for Vegas would be the dad or mom or one of the parents go, they bring their whole family to Vegas, and typically it's the father, at least in my family and what I see in the casino, they go and gamble, spend their money there, and then the rest of the family goes to like Shark Reef if you're at Mandalay Bay, the water park if you go to Circus Circus, you can go to the Adventure Dome, uh, and go to New York, New York, ride the roller coaster arcade. So the rest of the family is also spending money doing different things, and it's allowing the father or whoever to gamble longer because um, the rest of the family is distracted. If there's nothing else for the kids to do, but the kids still come to Vegas, then they're busy tagging on, uh, tugging on you know, their parents' mom or dad's shoulder. Mom, mom, I'm bored. I want to go. And then all of a sudden, they have to get off, off the machine and spend less money there. So Vegas really needs, I think, more thematic, more attractions and more themed hotels. Also, that's what sets it apart from, again, different gambling cities around the world, like Macau and even different gambling cities here in the United States, which a lot of more states are legalizing gambling. So Vegas needs that incentive for people to come fly over here, fly over to Vegas, um, because if they, if they de themed hotels, then that would not work against its favor. So those are my kind of two cents on that subject. But yeah, we'll be def I'll be definitely tracking this rumor very closely. We'll see if MGM does, in fact, make any kind of announcement by the end of the month. It is December 1st, so we have all the way racing until, obviously, New Year's Eve. We'll see if they make any announcement on that. I hope they don't. Um, because, you know, when you think of Vegas, you definitely people will think of the uh, Luxor. It's the only pyramid-shaped, not the only, but the most famous pyramid-shaped building besides the actual pyramids in the world. And... I'm sure they'll think of Excalibur too. It's a freaking castle, um, in the middle of a city. That's freaking awesome. Who wants 
I mean, I understand uh, they the rumor also stated Luxor has structural issues, but like with Splash Mountain, fix the structural issues, do an extensive renovation, and fix it. Um, it's too iconic of a building for it to be demolished, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you want Vegas to be more de-themed? Would that make you go more? Maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Or would you would you go more to Vegas if it had more themed hotels and different attractions like the recently opened Flyover Vegas, which is like a Soar version of Soren over uh it is basically it's Soren over Vegas and that opened not in the hotel but in the uh showcase mall over there. Would, would you want that? Or do you want more just generic bland hotels? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys think about the Luxor and uh, Excalibur potentially being demolished and what you guys think of that. Uh, lastly, if you want more Vegas rumors and speculation content like that, um, let me know in the comments below. Again, I have a whole Vegas playlist, which I just posted a few videos from the Adventure Dome, um, from, including one from yesterday about the Canyon Blaster. But if you want more kind of Vegas business hotel, again, speculation of what's coming, what's being demolished, uh, let me know and uh, I'll definitely put them all, look up on the rumor mill and put some more videos out there because I love Vegas. I go, my my dad lives out there, so I go quite often every few weeks um, before the pandemic and now I'm starting to pick it up again. I'll be back there for New Year's Eve. So I love Vegas. So I'll def I don't mind doing lots of rumor and speculation about new hotels and what's going to be launched and new attractions um, coming to Vegas. Because again, I just think of it as one giant theme park, not just for adults, but for the whole family. Because there's so many things also for the family to do. And I can even make a tips and tricks, tips and tricks video for families, um, things for families to do in Vegas if you want that as well. Especially for the upcoming holiday season. But again... Let me know what you guys want in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more theme park updates, potentially more Vegas content, and uh, as always, have a fantastic day.